So I I don't really understand how videos on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or Facebook how they do or don't become popular. I I don't actually watch a lot of videos, but the ones I do watch, I understand watching a band that you liked when you were a teenager, you know, a concert shot from 1978 or something. I understand that. I understand um, some analysts. I have a friend who loves to watch videos on obscure battles in history, and I understand that. But there are some I don't understand, and one category I particularly don't understand are unboxing videos. I don't understand what would be exciting about watching somebody else who bought something online, receiving it, and opening it, and then their response to opening it. I mean, not even if that was like a famous person. I don't, I don't know that I'd be particularly interested in watching the ghost of Abraham Lincoln open a package. Um, but I, I don't, I was like, I'm not even receiving the package. I, 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 I mean, I don't think that they should be not allowed to exist. I'm not going to legislate them out of existence. It's just, I don't understand. Or, you know, I can understand like there's this really cool video about this guy who devised a complex maze for squirrels to go through. Complete waste of time. This is this is a great example of the spectacle. You know, it's just this is they wait at least like cute cat pictures are cute. And you know, watching two baby sheep bump up against each other play fighting and they're just barely touching their heads and it's very cute. And I kind of do wish the entire internet would collapse, but I don't, uh, some of the things I just, I, what I'm trying to get at with this is there are things that I understand the attraction, even if I don't particularly want to do them. And there are some things like, and they've got hundreds of thousands of millions of views. I don't know why millions of people would watch somebody else open a package. You know, maybe the answer to how those are so popular has to do with two very powerful addictions in this culture. And this is a co combination of them. One is the addiction to screen time where, I mean, it's crazy enough that we, including I will scroll through crazy cat videos or, you know, cute puppy videos. That's, that's, that's fine once in a while, but there's a real life we could be living. And I've, I've got dogs right here and, Yet I'll still, oh, look at it, isn't that cute? And, you know, suddenly three hours have passed. And the other addiction that this is connecting to is our complete addiction to consumerism because we are so addicted to consumerism that we get that little rush of endorphin from watching somebody else purchase something. It's not even that we purchased it. So there's this combo of, of addiction to screen with addiction to consumerism with completely being out of our lives and out of our bodies so that we get this rush when we see someone we don't know. And it's not even like they won a prize. They, they purchased something and then they are opening it. And so I think it's this double addiction to screens and to consumerism that fill the huge voids that are in our lives. And I'll say one more thing, which is yesterday the electricity was out for seven or eight hours here and it was delightful. It was I grew up before computers and I grew up when there was only what five television stations and usually not much on. And when the electricity went out, the day came just as long as it was when I was seven years old. And, and I went outside and 
and then I heard the hum of electricity and I came back in.